the thing about ruined, um, I, I sat on a panel with Lynn in New York. We were when I had a show up at the Public Theater, and she had ruined um, up at, um, and we were on a panel of of, of artists talking about of African American artists, African artists talking about work, and she talked about the interviews that she conducted while she was in in uh, Uganda because I, d I don't think that she could have gone to she I don't think she could have gone to Congo because it was too dangerous but she was in Uganda where um, there are large parts of the northern population that are participating in the war in the Congo and um, she just she was talking about about the women that she interviewed and um, and right in the middle of of the her 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 comment she got really choked up and she just needed she needed a second to just bring herself back and these interviews happened years ago she conducted these interviews years ago she's written the play the play was finished and in, in, and and running and yet the memory of of these women were so powerful that they still managed to to um stop her in the middle of this of of this talk back and um when i think about the play i think about those women in that in those interviews and the vibrancy that she captured the women in the play um, and so for me that the, the thing that I'm really excited about is is conveying that life force that these women have, how they've been through unbelievable circumstances but they're still so full of life and so determined to to forge a future life um, and so that's that's the thing that that's the most exciting is that that so that people see it and they they feel a little bit more connected to what's happening abroad um, in these crisis and uh, places and and they feel a little bit more connected to these these women because in the in the scheme of sort of international politics um, women in war in third world countries are the most vulnerable and sort of the most tossed away. Um, and so that's what I find really exciting about this play is, is an opportunity to connect. That's something that, um, because the women are so different, you know, they're not that kind of, so, uh, just a, a whole group of, of uh, women that are all victims and they're all the same, which sometimes one can think about when you think about, you know, victims of war in the third world, uh, in developing nations. They're so different that one can sit in the audience and look at these women whose lives are completely separate and different from ours and go, which one of these women would I be? How would I respond? Under if because they like us are deal with crisis in every different kind of way. And an, another aspect of the play that I enjoy is because the women are young. There's a lot of there's bickering. There's lots of joking around. There's in the midst of all this trauma. There's still young girls and women who. Um, want to find those moments of joy and want to find those moments of connection and backstabbing and you know at the end of the day the 18 year olds in America's Next Top Model and the 18 year olds in Ruined they're all 18 year old girls stuck together whether they like each other or not and so some of that drama plays out um, in a really enjoyable way.